Welcome back to 7 at 4. I'm so excited because I want to see this and now I get to interview. I get like a backstage VIP pass <laughs> right here, right now. <laughs> Mill Mountain Theater is bringing back a very good production due to popular demand. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird, um, going to be on the main stage starting September 25th. So joining me now, really a familiar face here on 7 and 4, Timothy Booth. Um, <laughs> also, he's one of the actors in the production. And then we have Neil David Seibel, mm -hmm. and he is the director. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. Here. yeah. Um, okay, guys, we have a lot to cover. Yeah. So I'm going to get to it. Tell us about your backgrounds. You could fill the four full segment with your background. <laughs> tell me, Especially this uh, one. No, right? Broadway over here. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, humble. Okay. But tell me about your, your backgrounds with theater and the arts, guys. Um, I went to Virginia Tech and studied mm -hmm. theater. Um, I came back here to do my first professional gigs. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to New York and I've toured the country, toured the world, Japan. Um, uh, worked on Broadway for a number of years, national tours. I was in the Broadway company of Mamma Mia and the national tour of Mamma Mia. And yes. I've been coming we did back a story here. on that we one. Did. We did. Yes. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then came back here to do Mamma Mia as well. Yes. In 20, whenever that was. 19, I can't 20, remember. I can't remember I either. I can't remember. It's, it's gone. Been a long time. Um, okay. And Neil David, tell so us a little many, bit about yours. So many credits I have, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I'm originally from Kentucky and I went to Northern Kentucky University and then I just started working. I lived in New York for a brief period and then I ended up in Texas and then California and then overseas for a little bit and I went to graduate school in California and then I am now landed down in Montgomery, Alabama. I've been down there for a bit. I'm teaching and still directing and yes. getting to run around all these wonderful places. And yes. Getting out of the heat and coming up to the mountains and Isn't enjoying this here? fantastic weather. I know. Thank you for doing that for oh. me. I really appreciate hey, it. Hey, thank Brent Watts uh, yeah. over here working uh -huh. hard for yeah, us. Yeah, thank you. Um, okay, so <laughs> Timothy, this is your ninth production with Mill Mountain Theater. Uh, what's it like to come back and just work with the team again? It always feels like coming home. It's the best place. I just love it. And my family's nearby, so they're going to buy out that oh, theater. Good. So you better get your tickets. <laughs> so, you know, right. uh, that's happening. But yeah, it always feels like coming home. And, yeah. and I always love um, seeing the new restaurants that are opening downtown and getting on my bike and doing the Greenway and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. you got to fit in all the uh, Roanoke area, Southwest Virginia stuff yeah, while you're yeah. here, especially in the fall. Once we finish rehearsal. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to decompress. Yeah. Now, Neil yeah, David, yeah. you've, as you said, been across the country mm -hmm. with various productions, even writing your own. Um, why did you <laughs> come to Roanoke to direct this production? Because Ginger asked me. Ginger okay, Poole, and we love Ginger. Yeah. yeah, but it was a really great opportunity because we were talking about the fact that this play takes place in Alabama. I live down there, so there was just mm -hmm. a lot of opportunities. And I know Roanoke. I love it. I've been to Mill Mountain before. I get to teach in and guest at um, Holland's Playwrights Lab, so it's yeah, it's pretty good. Now, I just assume most people would know the story of To Kill a Mockingbird, but maybe not. Uh, give us a quick little synopsis and then tell us about your character, Timothy. Um, I play the role of Atticus Finch, mm -hmm. and um, he's a father living in a small town, Makeham, Alabama, in 1935, um, watching his kids grow up um, and the struggles that they go through trying to grow up in a you know, a hard time mm -hmm. uh, in the rural South, and he's a lawyer and uh, takes on the most important case of his life, basically. Okay. Yeah. All right, um, now, without giving any spoilers, Neil David, I want to ask you what's something you think people are going to enjoy? I mean, you're the director here. Give us the deets. Well, first of all, there's a lot of great acting going on. Yeah. But we've, we've, we've layered in a little bit of music as well. Yeah. So okay. there's a bit of live singing that comes in, which is a little bit of a nice surprise coming in there that I think people won't be expecting. But there's a really a lot of excellent performances, and yeah, the cast is fantastic. Okay, the now kids I know. Are great. The kids, the kids are, are so, so fantastic. Good. Okay, oh my hear, gosh. We get to hear Timothy sing, right? No, not, not this in one. The, not, in the, not in this one. <laughs> okay, I'll still buy no, a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> we shut the pipes down on this one. Okay, guys, uh, really quick, because we do got to go. Uh, both of you are members of the Actors um, Equity Association. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell us very quickly how important it is for both of you to be a part of this? Well, I am a proud union member since 1990. Mm -hmm. um, Actors Equity, you know, it protects um, us as workers, um, keeps us safe on the job, um, job equity, all of yeah. those great right. things. Yeah, yeah, it's a fantastic union to be a long, uh, part of. All right. Yeah, it gives you safety so that you can do the best possible job yeah. that you can do. You're not overworked. Support. You're, 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 sure. You're, you're, 
fresh and, and yeah. ready to do the work. You okay, know? well, we all need that support, yeah. right? Okay, guys, To Kill a Mockingbird, it's right here in Roanoke, Mill Mountain Theater. We'll be sure to post all the information on our website, wdbj7.com. It opens on the 25th. 25th. And mm -hmm. goes to the... 6th of October. And 6th October. of October, and you got to get your tickets now because Timothy said, Brent, his whole family is going to buy it out. Millmountain.org. Um, <laughs> Millmountain.org. And, Mill right. and hubby, if you're watching, I need tickets. Call them up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Date night. <laughs>